good one. Hey guys, welcome back to Surge Outdoors Angling. Today we're in northern Alberta on a big body of water, chasing Lakers using swim baits. Five and a half, six, six inch swim baits, one ounce jigs. Stay tuned guys, it's gonna be good. We're gonna lay the beat down on these guys. This it was 46. This morning it was 48, now we're down to 45. Yeah, I'll jig here for a bit. Yeah, we'll throw the dirty bird in the boat. Hey, 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 hey. That's a good bourbon, actually. He crushed that thing. Swim bait. Burbit. Another thing we're using, guys, is with jigging anything, walleye, lake trout, is high vis line, right? This is orange. Carry your eight. Right, you can use high vis orange, high vis yellow. 
Because what you want to see sometimes is when your bait's dropping, uh, sometimes it'll stop and you get a bunch of slack and you're like, well, I'm not that bottom, right? You might only be 30 feet down and 50 feet of water. Well, Lake Trout came up, grabbed it, and he's swimming up, right? So then you gotta reel down and smash him. Yeah, high vis line, any kind of jigging, fluorocarbon leader. Right now we're using seven foot fluorocarbon leaders with a swivel. Big long leader, clear water. It's working pretty good. Lights out. Graham smashed another one. Big off the bottom. Big off the bottom. Big off the bottom. Yes, he did what he did. This is where the sea deck comes in handy, boys. She's a slime fest, a slug fest. It's mayhem up in here. My biggest one. Back on them. And he peeled line. He peeled line. Just don't wait. Trav, I think you got a freaking log on here. Yeah, I'm good. Let's get it. Okay, ready? Oh, belly hooked him a bit. Belly hooked him. That's why. Graham spanked another one. That's your fish, I'm not messing with that thing. <laughs> hey, enough slime on me. That wind today has been every direction, eh? Oh, every which way. East wind, west wind, cloud comes, spins us around. Rained on. Man. Thing, guys, don't put. That's a good one. That's a good one. Don't put your net in the water until you're ready to scoop. Because when they see that net, that's a good one, Trout. That's a dancer. <laughs> when they see that net, they just dive and get out of there, right? It's a good fish.
One thing that uh, we've been seeing, guys, is definitely uh, maintaining that bottom contact. Your jig's gonna go down, make a dust plume, right? So you always want to bounce it off bottom, just like if you were using a jig and wrap, right? And uh, make sure you tighten that line up, set your rods close to the tip of the, to the water, right? That way, when they do hit, you've got lots of room to load that rod and smash them. I'm going right side. Big fish. Bigger than the other one. Without question. Yeah. 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 Skinny. Long. He's not that big. 62, right? Is that fish, guys? I think it's profile thing. Man, they're so slimy. They're worse than jackfish. <laughs> they're worse than jackfish. <laughs> Oh man, you might be right. Hey guys, I'll show you what we're using here today. Using a Berkeley Powerbait HD True Colors. Five, how big are they? Five inch. Berkeley Powerbait, 4.6 inch swim baits, white ones. And Berkeley Powerbait HD True Color Champ Swimmers, right? Work really good. Jig heads, swim bait, one ounce, just a basic lead jig head. And then uh, the other one we were using was uh, uh, this guy here, three quarter ounce. That's a Fusion, Berkeley Fusion. That old guy worked pretty good too. Pretty deadly. Really good uh, swim baits. Thanks for tuning in and watching, guys. Jigging uh, swim baits for lake trout. We are out of here. We crushed them today, weather conditions were crazy. Wind switching all the time. Right now it's nice again, no clouds. Uh, so until next time, see you guys out in the water. Take it easy.